Hey, it's Vaughn here at your jazzdrumschool.com YouTube channel. Aloha, hope you're doing well. So today I'm gonna to break down for you one of my most popular drum solos here on my YouTube channel. Check it out. So this is one of my YouTube shorts and much to my surprise, it has over 69,000 views and over 5,000 likes. Uh, wow, big surprise for me. Uh, very grateful. Thanks everybody for watching and for liking. Uh, lots of comments too, appreciate the comments. And uh, it, since it's so popular, I thought, I just gotta break this thing down and show you what I'm doing. It's really not that complicated. All right, so be sure to download the PDF. I've transcribed everything for you and you can get it at the link up here and also down below in the description. Now, what we're gonna do is break it down and there are basically two hand patterns you need to know and that's it. Once you got those two hand patterns down, uh, you're in. It's, it's absolutely no problem. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I've transcribed it precisely like the way that I played it in the video. Uh, and to be honest, I don't really care. The reason why is because it's improvisation. And what's more important that is that you get the concept so that you can then take it to the next level and use it in real playing situations. I'm gonna show you how to do that later, so make sure you stay tuned. So basically the two hand patterns are right, left, right, left. So 16th notes followed by two eighth notes. That's one hand pattern. The second pattern, if you go down to the uh, the uh, the second measure of the second stave, all I've got there is a six stroke roll or an inverted paradiddle diddle. So right, left, left, right, right, left. That's all there is. Those are the two patterns. Once you've got those, you've got the whole thing. Now what I'm doing is I'm crossing over the bar line. So it's a hemiola. And the hemiola is like this. One and a two and three. Four and a one and two and three and. Okay. You see how, how, how that's working? So it's on that and of four, it's actually kind of starting the pattern again and it's it continuing it into count one of the next measure, the one and the and of the next measure. So it's a hemiola or something that crosses over the bar line, a phrase that's longer than one measure. One of the things I'm always telling drummers to do from the get go is to start moving your hands around the drums. There's no reason in my opinion to just stay on the snare drum. That's I think very limiting in terms of your development and you can develop a lot faster as a drummer if you start taking your rudiments and your hand patterns and everything and just start moving around the drums because your brain has to learn different ways, a different muscle memory, different coordination, different ways of playing when you move your hands to different positions on the drum set. So the sooner you can start doing that, the better. Now let me play it for you at 100 BPM and give you that bird's eye view so you can see how everything fits together. Now I'm gonna play it up to speed at 260 BPM. Check it out. One, two, one, two, three, four. So pretty cool, yeah? Now, the point I wanna make is you don't have to just stick to that precise way to get it around the drums. What I like to do is I think of phrases, I think of kind of overall overarching sounds or phrases uh, when I'm playing fills and solos and things around the drums. I don't think hand patterns, I don't think specific licks starting here and ending here always, okay? So I want you to make sure you don't back yourself into that corner and get stuck there where you can't do anything else but exactly the fill that I've played. So, uh, you know, like I said before, I don't know if this is precisely what I'm playing. I'm sure it's not, but it's in the ballpark and it gives you an idea and a kind of a jumping off place. 
Now let me play for you a little bit, and I'm just going to have fun. And I'm going to take that six-stroke roll thing, okay, mainly. I'm just going to focus on that here. Uh, and move it around in different kind of interesting drum fill combinations. Uh, and, you know, one of the real famous drummers that does a lot of this stuff is Steve Gadd. And you know, a lot of other drummers kind of in that generation, and even in my generation too, we use that six stroke roll fill a lot. Uh, but I'm going to show you kind of how I infuse it into my swing playing, and maybe give, give you some other ideas of how you can use it too. One, two. So go ahead and have fun with that and just experiment. You might have noticed that uh, I, I almost always have my hi-hat going on two and four, but sometimes I don't. And it's okay because my hi-hat is actually just providing uh, kind of rhythmic contrast. It's not a timekeeper. The time is in here, right? It's not here. So I'm really using it as rhythmic contrast. I just think it sounds cool to have that thing going on, you know, tick, tick, tick on two and four and while I'm doing other kind of intricate, more complex things with my hands. Had some folks recently asking where I get my Aloha shirts. Now I want to say first of all, there's a big difference between a Hawaiian shirt and an Aloha shirt. Uh, this is what a typical Hawaiian shirt looks like. Gaudy, gaudy, gaudy. You put that thing on when you go to Hawaii, people are going to know for sure straight away that you are a tourist. Okay? And if you wear something like this, you're going to look more local. If you want to get some local style Aloha shirts, check out the link above and also below in the description. I used to wear those kind of shirts all the time, and these shirts too, when I lived in Hawaii, and you can too. Thanks so much for watching, and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Be sure to like the video if you like it, that helps it move and groove around YouTube a little easier, and drop a comment, let me know if this video was helpful for you, and maybe answered some of your questions about that drum solo I played. Uh, also, if you haven't become a member of my channel already, it's a great way to support this channel and the videos that I'm uh, sharing with you on a weekly basis. Uh, it also is a great opportunity for you to get some other bennies. Uh, and if you click on the link here and down below in the description, uh, you can go check out what those bennies are. Uh, especially if you're on the swing and hard level, boy, you're going to get lots of really great uh, video content and uh, lots more coming down the pike soon. So have fun with that and keep swinging, my friend.